Hey guys, this is Kayumon. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the load remover for Live Split and how to use that one for speedrunning the Sims and Run. So, essentially, you might as well say that this is a tutorial how to get started with speedrunning the Sims and Run and how to prepare everything you need to do. Um, so, yeah, let's get right into it. The first thing I would recommend you to do is to get yourself. Uh, no CD exe file for Sumsit and Run. Um, the reason for that is because the most programs which we're going to use for running the game, like the mod launcher for example, or live split, are only compatible with the no CD exe file of the game. And uh, since this one, <laughs> it seems like a lot of people seem to have uh, trouble with finding the right exe file. Uh, so I already did the work for you and uploaded my sims.exe file to my Dropbox, so just make sure to check the link in the description and you should have the right version. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is open up your live split and um, if this is the first time uh, you want to configure uh, you configure your live split with all the splits and stuff, um, make sure that for the game name you type in the Simpsons hit and run. Um, in best case without any errors because that's the only way how this message right here will appear uh, which says that the load remover is available and uh, here you just click activate. Uh, since I've already done that mine says deactivate but yours should say deactivate uh, if you're doing it for the first time. So just activate it and we're good to go. So just press OK and uh, yeah, your live split window should have changed like this. Uh, you might as well close live split right now because um, we'll have to restart it in a second anyway. And uh, the next thing you want to get is the alternate timing method, which you can get from the official live split website. Uh, yeah, this is a component which you'll need to uh, have both the in game timer as well as the RTA timer displayed for your live split. Uh, I would recommend you to download the latest version here, so it should give you this uh, zip file right here. So just open it up, you'll need uh, WinRAR or an, any other extracting tool, whatever program, and um, yeah, for now you just want to uh, place the, this DLL file inside your uh, live split directory, just like that. Uh, since I've already done this before, mine says that I have to replace it, but it doesn't really matter, I'll just replace it for the sake of it. Um, yeah, and once you've done that, you can open up li your live split again. And uh, right now I'm going to open up my all mission percent splits because I wanted to do this for them anyway. And uh, here, what you can do now is if you go to edit layout, you now have the option to edit another timer to your layout, like that. And uh, to make this look a little, bit, a little bit nicer, you might as well push this above the previous segment. Looks a bit nicer in my opinion. And uh, the most important part is you double click the timer and you want to set the timing method to uh, game time. This is the most important thing when configuring this thing. Um, and once you've done that, uh, one more tiny thing you'd have to check is um, that your uh, comparison is set to real time right here. So compare against real time. Just make sure that it's checked like this. And uh, as you can see now, you have two timers right here. Uh, the upper one should be for RTA timing and the uh, bottom one should be for the in-game time, otherwise known as uh, timing without loads. So yeah, let's uh, test this one really quick with uh, the Simpsons game. Uh, another thing you I would recommend you to download when running the Simpsons game is the mod launcher right here. Um, this just uh, makes your loading times a little bit faster and uh, it also comes with a, some pretty cool features which you can use to um, yeah enhance the game. For example, uh, I can't move it right now. For example, the frame limiter. Okay, this is weird. <laughs> ah. Okay, let me just... Ah, there we go. <clears throat> yeah, like I said, it comes with pretty cool features, like you can uh, change the resolution or the window mode without actually uh, 
doing it in the game options which is quite nice so I just want to press launch the game here assuming that you actually use the load remover so another possibility of how to uh, shorten your load times in the game are if you would use compatibility mode with the sims.exe file but if you do that you'd have to run the game in administrator mode and if you do that your live split won't work so the mod launcher is pretty much the best way to go uh, if you want to do it with short loading times okay so i'm just going to uh, try this really quick so I'm going to sort for that. Um, yeah, I'm just going to start the timer and resume the game and see if it works. And there we go. As you can see, upper timer is still running, but the bottom timer did not run when I was uh, inside the loading screen. So, as you can see, it actually works and it is pretty easy to install. So. Um, I hope this video helped for you guys and uh, yeah, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next video.